The term file transfer protocol, FTP, refers to a process that involves the transfer of files between devices over a network. Originally used as a way for users to communicate and exchange information between two physical devices, it is now commonly used to store files in the cloud, which is usually a secure location that is held and accessed remotely. FTP may be used by a business or individual to transfer files from one computer system to another or by websites to upload or download files from their servers. Now, let's dive into how to set up an FTP server using IIS on Windows Server 2022. The first step is to install the FTP server on your Windows Server 2022. This will allow you to create a secure environment for file transfers. Next, we'll create an FTP user. This user will have specific permissions to access the FTP server and perform file transfers. Then set up an FTP site. This is where files will be stored and accessed by authorized users. Finally, We'll show you how to access the FTP server from a remote device. This allows you to start transferring files seamlessly. This is today's lab setup. Let's move on to the steps. Firstly, you will need to add the FTP server features from the server manager. Here's how you do it. Log in to your Windows Server. Go to Start and search for Server Manager and click on it to open the Server Manager. Next, click on the Add Roles and Features. Click on the Next. You should see the Select Installation Type screen. Select Role-Based or Feature-Based Installation and click on the Next. You should see the Destination Server Selection screen. Choose Select a Server from the Server Pool and click on the Next. Select Web Server from Server Roles page. The FTP Server feature is disabled by default. If you are installing IIS or having it already installed, the FTP Server feature has to be enabled. Don't need to add any features and just click on the Next. Read Web Server Role Information and click Next. Select FTP Server, FTP Service, FTP Extensibility and click on the Next. Review all configurations and click on the Install button to start the installation. Wait until installation is completed. Now you can create a user for your FTP server. You can use this user to connect to the FTP server. Open the Server Manager Click Tools and click on Computer Management. In the left panel, click on the Local Users and Groups, then click Users and then right-click on the Users and select New User. Provide your username, password, and click on the Create button. You should see your newly created user in the Users list. Here we will create an FTP site and define the path of your FTP directory. You can do it using the IIS Manager. Follow these steps. Open the Server Manager. Click on the Tools, then click Internet Information Server Manager. Right-click on the Sites and click Add FTP Site. Define your FTP site name and FTP directory path. In this video, I'm using GTO as the FTP site name. I am creating a new folder named FTP Data in the C drive. 
Then, create a text file named FTP test in the FTP data folder for verification and testing purposes. Insert the FTP folder path as the physical path. Define your FTP server IP address, FTP port, and select the Start FTP Automatically option. In this lab, I'm selecting No SSL and clicking Next. I will select Basic Authentication. Then you can select User Permission. I'm specifying the user I have created earlier and adding Read and Write Permission. Then click Finish. Now we can try to access FTP server from client computer. There are a lot of free and paid tools available to access the FTP server. In this video, we will use the FileZilla FTP client to connect to the FTP server. Download and install the FileZilla FTP client to the client computer. Click on the Site Manager to create a new FTP connection. Provide your FTP server IP address, port, username, password then click on the Connect button. Once the connection has been established, you should see your FTP content on the following screen. Congratulations! You've now successfully completed the setup of your FTP server using IIS on Windows Server 2022. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Feel free to leave any questions or comments down below. Thanks for watching.